Hello viewers, if you do not subscribe to my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. Shiva is one of the most important gods in the Hindu pantheon. A complex character, he may represent goodness, benevolence and serve as a protector. He is also associated with the time and particularly as a destroyer and creator of things. His abode is Kailash and his concert Parvati. Ganesha and Kartikeya are his divine sons who also occupy an important place in the Hindu pantheon. Shiva's vehicle is Nandi, the divine bull. Shaivism is the most popular sect of Hinduism next to Vaishnavism. Shaivism is a tradition of the masses. It rejects caste privileges that come with birth and exclusive rights of Brahmanas in Hindu ritual traditions. Nearly 80% of Hindu literature is dedicated to either Shiva or Vishnu or Shakti, which includes the Vedas, the Puranas, the epics and the Agama Shastras. Even today, Shiva is worshipped by millions of peoples not only in India but elsewhere also where Hindus live. Let me tell you the most important reason why Shiva is a popular Hindu deity and why he is venerated by millions of Hindus. Shiva is known to grant boons to his devotees frequently, even if they happen to be some really wicked ones. He is called Bolnath, the innocent one, because he is pure in heart and easy to please, which means if you love him and worship him, and even if you have some defects and weakness, you can be sure of his love and compassion. He is very unconventional. Shiva makes and breaks all social customs and moral codes to convey its state of freedom. He is the lord of the tantra, who permits left-hand methods of worship to sublimate even tendencies to show that we need to transcend all dualities and judgments to achieve liberation. Which means you do not have to worry about what you eat, how to live what lifestyle you follow, what norms you practice, and to which caste or social background you belong. He is the lord of body. Shiva represents tamas, which is the predominant component of a living body. A living body embodies Shiva in the form of an individual soul, which means if you want to purify and transform your body to achieve liberation, you should first worship Shiva and request him to destroy all your impurities and facilitate your progress on the path. It is easy to worship him. To worship Shiva, you do not require the services of a priest. You can walk into any Shiva temple and offer him prayers directly. Or you can pray to him in your own art and offer anything with love. Which means you have a direct connection with Shiva and he listens to your prayers directly. He makes your anger acceptable and tolerable. Shiva can really get frighteningly angry at times and unleash his destructive powers. No one wants to see Shiva angry, even gods, because when he is angry, he can do terrible things. Which means you can acknowledge your anger as an aspect of Shiva and not feel guilty about it. He is a very good husband. Shiva treats his wife Parvati with great love and respect. He not only made her an inseparable part of him but also ensured that she would receive an equal honor by receiving her a place to sit by his side, which many Hindu men and even gods like Vishnu and Brahma do not consider necessary. Which means if there is one deity who truly deserves our love and respect and who represents today's values, it is Shiva. He is a family person. Shiva loves his family and children as much as he loves his devotees. He also has an extended family of gods and ganas who are very fond of him and who love to spend their time in his company. Which means one can learn from Shiva about family values and the importance of loving and caring relationships. Shiva has immense powers. He destroys our suffering, the poison of human life and removes from us impurities such as ignorance, egoism, delusion, attachment and pride to facilitate our spiritual growth. Which means if you are looking for a change or direction in your life, he is the right deity to worship. He is the lord of the animals. Shiva has a great love and compassion for all animals. He protects them from disease, death and destruction. Hence, he is known as Pasupatinath, which means if you love animals and you want them to be protected from cruelty and treated well, you should worship none other than Shiva and request him to give them a better birth in their next lives. He gives you wisdom and knowledge. Shiva is the world teacher. 
all knowledge flows from him especially the liberating knowledge in the form of ganga he is rightfully the source of all arts crafts and sciences he himself is a good musician dancer and singer which means you should choose shiva as your inner guru and worship him because there is no better guru than shiva in the whole creation om namah shivaya